My name is Tyrone. I'm a professor of integrative biology at the University of California, Berkeley. In particular, I'm interested in amphibians or frogs. So this is a plains leopard frog. This is one of the parents of many of the tadpoles. My work primarily we expose tadpoles because we're looking at development. And I'm interested in how hormones are involved in their ability to adapt to changes in the environment. But the whole goal of the lab is to go, if you're exposed to this chemical at this temperature, what gene gets turned on and off? How does that affect that individual? How does that affect that population? How does that affect the evolution and ecology of that species? Aren't you a big cutie? <laughs> Most scientists would agree now that we're seeing an accelerated decline in amphibian populations. There are over 4,000 species of frogs, and of those, 2% have gone extinct just in the last few years. 43% are endangered or threatened. Those kinds of numbers have made scientists realize that something's going wrong in the environment. People have talked about changes in weather patterns. People have talked about invasive or introduced species. There's a role for pesticides in the, in the declines. People should also understand and take that as an indication because we live in this environment and need many of the same things in this environment as amphibians do. If the water quality is so bad that a tadpole can't grow in it, how can we accept that water quality as our drinking water? And I knew what I loved and what I wanted to do from very early on, but I don't think it was defined until much later. I spent a lot of time outdoors. I spent a lot of time in swamps around my house. I've always been interested in frogs, well, reptiles and amphibians in general, and have always been interested in particular in how environment affects their growth and development. This is, a, this is a book that my mother sent to me. It was, she sent to me to, to give to my son, but you can see I've been selfish, I've kept it for myself. I actually I have copied parts of the book and used it in my talks because there are some key things in here for the, when they describe the difference between a mom and a pop frog. My father used to say, always do everything your best or don't waste your time. Do something else that you're gonna put your best into. It's things like that that I think are the basis for not just academics, but for anything that you're gonna do. You know, that do something you're gonna be proud of. 